Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Foran, here playing, of course, as the mighty Aztec. We are getting very close to encountering the Europeans by land, which will be very good, reforming everything. We've been upgrading our centers of trade, we've got two idea groups done, obviously we've expanded to cover most of the Gulf of Mexico. I've got to start going up the Mexican coast here. I think i got a little while, because I don't think anyone has a port on the left side. I think this port is... Nope, they do. So I've got to hurry up and colonize up there soon. Um, the Spanish are about to border Native Americans who then border me, so I should be able to reform off them if I want to. Not sure if I really want to at the moment. We shall see. Um, basically, though, we have to really stockpile military points and gold and manpower. We just expanded our army up to 39 troops, so we're not nearly as weak as we were. On par though, we're considered greater than Britain, which is really good. That means Britain's unlikely to attack us. Unfortunately, we are a third smaller than Spain and France, both of whom are existential threats to us. The Inca lost a war against the French. That's not good. Well, that's the end of the Inca. They're winning a war against Great Britain, though, but French Peru is a thing. Oh. That might be one of the first times I've actually seen the French conquer the, uh, the Inca, other than when I play the French. Yeah. Um... Mild reprimand. Let's keep this trade power in Mexico if possible. We've got 78% of the trade. That's good. Oh, there we go. Stupid uh, migrating tribes migrated away from where I needed them to stay. Not good. Okay, that's frustrating. So that's going to be a delay in our reforming. Obviously, we're not going to do this, even though it would save me some income. Basically, we're still sitting. And we're still waiting. I'm going to stockpile this gold. I'm not going to spend it, I don't think. Because this might be our only way out of a war with Spain, is buying them off, basically. Okay, we have a reform there. What we needed was this guy to go there. Or that guy to go there. Portugal is now looking at my lands with hunger, basically. Not good. I don't really want to fight the Portuguese, although arguably there would be the best great power or European power to fight because of how weak they are. China has been pushed off the list of great powers, so either they're that far behind or more likely they've collapsed. We'll see how that all works out. Curious to see if China has collapsed. They seem to collapse a lot more after the Manchu update. Trade power penalty. No way to avoid it, really. Wish you guys had not migrated right next to me. 13 colonies are a thing. That's good. That's land I can expand into. Um... We're actually doing okay on the inflation front, to the point that I'm almost tempted when I expand to take religious ideas. That way I'll be able to convert all these European lands much faster. Because right now we have basically two conversion strength, and then if we take, obviously, the Aztec Reformation thing that we can take later on, that'll be another two. But still not enough to really rapidly convert land. Colonial Eastern America belongs to Florida. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Really doesn't affect me. Apparently the Spanish kicked out the Catalans to this area. Arganese. We've got an interesting group of cultures being exported to the New World. Some English, some Irish. Interesting combinations. Um, we're going to work up the Mexican coast, I think. So, up that, march you to there, march you to there. Shouldn't cost us too much gold to raise our army, because most of our army is already raised. 
really comes down to the mercs, honestly. Yeah. And we're gonna cost us one monarch point to suppress rebels, suppress the natives. There we go. But we wanna, ideally, the less European colonies that form on the New World, the easier my job will be in the long run to control the Americas, or at least North America. South America, I could honestly just build several forts in Panama and leave it alone. Don't really care about it. I am gonna throw a fort down here, probably in Nicaragua. Yeah, Nicaragua would be a good choke point. Just thinking that'll stop Colombia and the others from marching up easily. It'll be like 50% or so fort defense. Keep them busy, keep them out of the way. Get another advisor back, there we go. These guys migrated, but not where I needed them to. Those guys can't migrate, the Spanish are not colonizing next to them. The British are not colonizing next to them either. However, people like the Sioux have reformed up to Miltech 15, so that is actually rather promising that these nations are getting close to Miltech 15 when they reform. I'm worried we get attacked before we get the chance to reform. That is kind of the doomsday scenario for us, is getting dogpiled before I can do anything to stop them. Uh, influence is 40 or higher. Okay, there's nothing I can really do about that right now. Suppose I could give them land, but I'd probably be better off waiting for... Uh, yeah, I can't really do anything. It's frustrating. Okay. It's expanding. We've got a lot of Monarch points saved up. This might be the most Monarch points I've ever bothered to save up. I mean, you kind of have to play as one of the Native Americans to do it anyway. Unless you're playing way up here. You could probably get higher if you played as one of these uh, Pacific Northwest nations. Just thinking that, that that would probably be get you more in the long run. Oh, come on. So it's exciting two episodes ago, expanding and colonizing, but now it's kind of becoming ridiculous. Rapid collapse of society is over. That's nice to have finally leave. Doesn't help me much in the long run, though. Gives me more income, yes. Allows me to spend Monarch points, which would be great if there was anything to spend Monarch points on. That would be worth it. I mean, we could develop land, but 50% penalty plus 33 for jungle. Even here, it's 82. Arguably, we're best off developing land provinces. And swamp, oddly enough. Anyway. Forts are getting built. Also, once we uh, reform, we're going to have to pass some government reforms, which will be interesting. We are in the age of absolutism, though. We have nothing close to what we need to do that, though. Mm, I suppose I could spend the Diplo points and finish off Yucatan Peninsula. Culture converted, I mean. It's pretty much... We've got like three there, five there, and ten up there. Mm, probably not worth it. So yeah, this is a couple hundred monarch points. These ones are no problems up north. Yeah, we'll just stay calm and not not get into any trouble. I will lower army maintenance though. Might as well save some money from those mercs. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Spanish are now colonizing next to a tribe, so we're going to have reforms coming through. These guys will reform in a month or so. There we go. And then these guys will reform. But I can't reform. Oh, I can. There we go. I would get zero technology spread across the cat areas while getting four institutions. No. No, 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 that's not good enough. 
That's really not good enough. We need more than four tacks. We really do. We need like 10 or 12 tacks. These guys are still stuck there. Well, we know in the event of a war, we could reform our government, but it's not worth it right now. It really isn't. Not unless these guys catch up and tack. We may have to wait for the Spanish to colonize like Mobile or something. Or else we have to do three more colonies down south till we get to through Panama. Neither of which I'm really enthusiastic about waiting to do. So. Um, I guess I'll spend this money. Because we're stuck for the moment. Absolutely stuck. Talk about annoying. Talk about annoying. On the other hand, some of the institutions are spreading to our lands. Of course, we can't embrace them until we get our government reformed. Oh, bother. The Native Americans, like these guys are teched up a bit. I would almost reform off these guys, but still will not get us what we need towards Florida. Oh, bother. Not good, not good at all. We're gonna run out of Monarch points in the admin category soon, so let's just waste a little bit here. That'll keep us under control for a handful more months. Plus more income, plus more development, all good stuff in some ways. This is definitely a very unusual game. It really is. We could get two technologies and four institutions. <sighs> it's not worth it. Even with like a 15% discount, it still wouldn't solve my issues. What a pain. Not enough influence. Fire you, though. <sighs> We've got enough monarch points, but we just can't do anything. And now we lost 200 colonists towards where we really wanted to colonize, too. Great. It's a little annoying that I can be so technologically advanced this late in the game and still can't build ships. Ugh, yeah, yeah. Not only that, but wow, did our legitimacy just plummet. Thousand six hundred and eighty-three monarch points. No, thank you. Can somebody please get to our lands? I'm not going to reform until I get more than, like, five or six techs, or I'm about to get destroyed by the Europeans. 33 army professionalism. Almost 34. Clan of the clergy ended, so let's get some admin points. That'll go away in five months, so it's not a big issue. Again, though, we're getting close to our cap on our monarch points. Spend on even more of these, I guess. At least we get some income, and once obviously we westernize and stuff, we can actually afford to develop it, and then we can probably get further. 
Now that these guys are on an expansionist kick. That could be good. They are tech higher. Still not on par with the Europeans, though. The problem is these guys, they're not going to migrate again, so... Basically, at this point, we're going to have to wait for Great Britain to the south. Which I am not looking forward to waiting that long. Sure, I thought we'd be in good shape soon, but I guess I was wrong. Unless we get attacked. Which I don't want. On the other hand, we're getting some of our land semi-developed. Base of, base of power is being built up. At least we're getting that done. You know what I should do is just save enough cash and then fire this event. Or... Mission, rather. Come on. On, just colonize already. Ay, ay, ay. Problem is, I can't really do much now. These guys, by reforming, have now locked themselves in stationary. Obviously, Florida is going to grow, but Florida, I have to border it by land, not by sea. Great Britain is the only option, and it's going to take forever to colonize my way through Panama. Not fun. Great Britain has almost passed us in development now. Although I've got to imagine, yeah, hundreds some of that is due to vassals. There we go. Ooh, an inflation guy. That'll pretty much control that issue. At least while he lives, we won't have a problem. Yeah, keep keep spending the littlest amount of our monarch points possible, basically. Okay. This is this is getting a bit ridiculous. At this point it's gonna be like seventeen hundred before we actually reform and fight a European nation. Obviously Colombia is likely to be our first goal, but they're Miltech eighteen. To be fair, Great Britain's only 17. So actually, in this case, the colony is out teching their uh, colonial master, which is funny. These guys did not manage to expand much. At all, actually. Huh. They're now losing. Mm. No, I'm not gonna... No, not gonna encourage corruption, not when my ruler is corrupt. He's gonna die pretty soon, actually. Oh, if we spend Diplo points, we definitely want to make sure to spend it on um, gold mines, get that little advantage going. Oh wait, I forgot. Didn't we still have some production? Yeah. Had some better production problems, actually. Speaking of income, we're 33 in admin, 66 in military, and 206, 206th in Diplo. I wonder why. Probably because we're only Diplo Tech 4. Well, waiting, waiting, waiting. Ooh, Choctaw wiped them out. That's interesting. You know, we could probably win that war. They only have one ally. I might do that. I might actually declare war on these guys if we can. Um, yes, stop drilling it. We are going to be suffering attrition though, so I'll have to split in half. Make my ruler a general, because he's going to die anyway soon. I think I can just outright declare war on these guys. Yes, 
They're allied to the Pawnee, which are down there. Ooh, if I take... Oh, I can't. Probably because it's over water. Otherwise, I'd say that would be ideal because it would put me next to Florida. We'll see. These guys are weak, though, which is why I'm probably going to attack them. Um, declare war. Oddly enough, their tech, despite reforming, is the same as mine. Oh, okay. That doesn't make much difference to me. Um, march to there, you to here, I guess. We outnumber these guys, so hopefully easy war. Outnumber them and have almost the same tech. Where I think we're one tech behind, so... As long as the Europeans don't invade us now, we should be fine. We have definitely superior morale, if not superior tech and tactics and everything else. And we basically want all their land. There's almost no reason for us not to take their land, so... I'll take this stability, actually, because we keep getting stability events. Uh, distribute what bread we can. That should be... yes, diplo points. Speaking of monarch points, we're going to have to spend some of these, aren't we? Yes. That's quick. Uh, I wanted to do that on gold, didn't I? There we go. That should keep things calm for a little while longer. Doesn't look like they're actually going to give battle, which means this should be easy. They're marching to siege my lands. How lovely. The question is, can I take this province? And if I can, will that count as being next to these guys? Oh, march back. Not too worried about this war, but they are interrupting some of my uh, prosperity. They're hurting my income, basically. Let's, can I... I cannot take that. Can I do it the other way? Basically do this. Yes, I can wipe them out. Okay, let's do that. Now... Still, I'd only pick up four. Okay, but I can core and I can convert this land. Good. And we will raise autonomy, because there's no point in fighting rebellions, since we have no absolutism. Um, we're going to have to smash those rebels, though, aren't we? Should mean I should be able to attack... ...these guys. We're supposed to be at war with those guys. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll march to there. We should be able to attack these guys pretty early on. Yeah, we can do Flower Wars immediately. Okay, you to there, you to there. These guys are higher mil tech, but they've got so few troops. I don't think I should be that worried. Besides, development, land, all that good stuff. Um, declare war. Now, the thing I do have to be a little bit careful about is Spain here. Okay, those rebels are gone. Those rebels are still sieging a fort, which makes it easy to wipe them out. Um, you know what? Let's barrage. I believe... We yeah, we can actually do barrages as natives. That's kind of funny. Um, these guys have allies. That's fine. We're not going to attack them anytime soon. That's just a merc army, so that's fine. Glory Seeker, okay. Colonies are functioning, we're getting income. Europeans have yet to attack us, we're over 700 developments. We still got almost 200 years to do the achievement. We'll see how it goes.
However, we should actually be able to attack Florida <coughs> after this war and take over their lands. Because now we'll border them multiple ways. As long as we haven't... Yeah, anybody who cares about the coalition is dead now. Just quick core those. Raise autonomy. It's not worth attacking Florida now because obviously we're so far behind. Um... But once this is cored, we will reform, and then we should be in good shape. So that will be it for this episode. Next episode, barring something weird happening again, we should be able to reform our religion and our government and overall just start conquering things. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.